tons of fish. So many. They're running into my lure. So many fish, Steve. I, they won't hit anything. Got him. Big one. Okay, in today's video, we're turn returning back to an area where there's a flat and the wind's gonna be perfectly calm. We're trying to sight fish schools of fish on the flat and hopefully they're gonna be aggressive enough to hit a topwater. So that's the goal. Some sight fishing, a lot of blind casting and some, some areas where there's deeper holes where I know that holds fish. So we gotta find the big schools. That's, that's the goal. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like right now. That really helps out. If you're new to this channel or you just haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. First fish of the day. I think it's just a little tiny red. A little slot red maybe. Yeah. So this, this is looking like one of those days where conditions are just amazing. I think they're just gonna get better. We're gonna get some really good low tide, schooled up sight fishing stuff if we find them. So it's gonna be fun. For now, while we're waiting for more water to drop out, we're fishing near oyster points, stuff like that, creek mouths. A lot of blind casting and we'll just pick up some fish along the way there went something that might have been one yep the other fish here oh my god is that a red that jumped out of the water this red jumped out of the water when it was hooked Got another fish over here. I gotta be careful now. There we go. These ones, they're fun, but nothing beats a bigger one. The last one was 15, so this one's probably 15 or 16. We got a fish. It's either a nice trout or a little red. And it's a little red. Probably not quite slot. But it was a real tough bite. Actually, probably was slot. I should have measured him. Another bite. Back to back. That one's smaller, so he actually isn't a slot. See if we can do three reds in a row. Cure for scent to my lures. This one is shrimp flavor. If you want to buy some or any of the other gear that you see me using today, there'll be links down in the description of this video. Oh, <laughs> no. 
him. There was a trout. He just about hooked me. I have a kayak fishing guide service where I'll take you where I catch the fish and show you how I catch them. I plan everything with the tides and the weather to make the best day possible. I now have the option to provide a fully rigged Hobie Outback kayak, which is the old kayak that I was using in all these videos. The Hobie Outback pedal kayak is like, in my opinion, the best fishing kayak on the market. So you'll have the option to use that or you can bring your own kayak if you have your own kayak. Winter is coming up and honestly it's the best opportunity to catch a lot of redfish in one spot. So the winter fishing can be really good. So if you're interested in this, please go ahead and send me an email. You can find my email on the screen right now and you can also go find it in the description of this video. Another little trout. Where are the big ones at? So I'm going to be really quiet, but there's one that this one's definitely going to hit the lure if I get it in the right spot. Tons of fish. So many. They're running into my lure. So many fish, Steve. I, they won't hit anything. Got him. Big one. They just aren't active enough to hit the top water. They basically all, a huge school went this way. This is a big fish. Whoa. how big this fish is. I guess he's just maybe putting up a real big fight. Yeah, he's not even that big. He's probably over slot. It's a big school, I mean, a lot of fish in it. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Got him on the trout trick, trout sickle, three and a half inch. Twenty-six and a half. That's a good fish. 26 and a half inch redfish sight casted out of a big school.
guy's 21, he's going home with me. Got him. Dang, another little one. I thought this one was going to be bigger. blind casting. I mean, I saw the school earlier. Dang, it's not a bigger one. And they're biting really aggressive. I guess they're the only dumb ones to bite when the dolphins are around. I think there's a school up here. You can kind of see a little bit of water disturbance. And then the dolphins come in also though. Big ones are just not wanting to eat anything really. So if you fish around the Beaufort area and you want to learn some fishing spots, uh, you should check out my Patreon. By signing up on my Patreon, you get access to three fishing spot videos that I've made. It shows a launch and then and then like a few spots along the launch where I've fished before and I've caught fish. So I'll have the, the link to the Patreon on the screen right now and it'll also be down in the description of this video. You can go click on it and take a look at it. If you're interested, sign up, try it. It's not expensive or anything. Okay, today ended up pre being a pretty good day. The conditions were perfect, so we spent a lot of time sight fishing. The, the big reds just didn't seem to really want to eat lures. They were just running around and they just, they weren't eating the lures when I was throwing in front of their face. But we did catch one over slot and then I lost count of how many of the like lower slot or under slot reds that I caught. So it was a really fun day of fishing. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. That really helps out me and the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now. Thank you for watching.